Hey, I'm Jim Weber, the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Still watching uh, Hurricane Dorian throughout the overnight hours. One little thing that we did see with this storm was for time, a little dry air kind of worked its way right towards the center of the storm. Uh, that was obscuring the eye, kind of weakened maybe the structure a little bit for several hours overnight. But throughout the last several hours, you look at the satellite loop and you can see that eye has once again become very distinct. It's a small eye at this point, but a very compact and potent storm that continues to increase in intensity at this point. So here's the 11 a.m. advisory. The winds are currently sitting at 85 miles an hour, moving to the northwest at 13 miles an hour. The short term really hasn't changed. We basically continue to talk about this north and northwesterly track and then it's really all about this turn as we go through the weekend. The other thing that you're noticing, the change with the track, is now we're talking about not only a major hurricane, but we're talking about now it looks like more like a Category 4 hurricane, winds of 130 miles an hour, making landfall on the east coast of the state. And also, we're changing the timing compared to what we saw yesterday. The storm is slowing down. So instead of this being Sunday into Monday, this is now looking like this is more of a Monday into Tuesday. You see by Monday morning, uh, this is still sitting off the East Coast, a Category 4 winds of 130 miles an hour, making landfall. And then on Tuesday morning, it's still basically sitting in the middle of the state. So this is going to be a prolonged uh, event over the state. Remember, the slower this goes, the more those rainfall totals will accumulate as well, on top of all the wind damage that will be seen across the state as well. That cone, it continues to narrow as well. So basically at this point, with all the players coming in, uh, it's really looking like there's really not a whole lot of options other than for this to make landfall across Florida. Now, is that a definite at this point? No, still not an absolute definite, but we are getting more and more a likelihood that that is what we are going to be dealing with as we go into next week. You can see the beginning part of the computer models really got them all tightly clustered, very, very good agreement, but notice it's all about that turn. It's always about that turn with these storms because once you get that turn, that's where you start to get more of a spread in the computer models because some models want to turn a little quicker, some a little slower, and you're kind of all over the place with that. So how that turn happens is going to really determine where this makes landfall, and that's why you're seeing more and more of that spread across the state. But the, the major computer models, they're starting to come more into agreement. It's of course, they've been in agreement in the short term, but we're starting to see more consensus in that longer term. So we're starting to get uh, a little bit better, uh, basically, uh, confidence that this uh, track is going to work out. So here's the European and the GFS, the European, the white line. So you can see by Saturday, still, they, these are basically sitting right on top of each other. Now watch as we go through uh, Sunday into Monday. That's where we're starting to see some discrepancies against the models, but you're seeing they're basically both saying the Florida East Coast. We've got the European going much further to the south. Uh, the GFS up closer towards, uh, say, uh, Cocoa Beach, up towards the Cape somewhere. And then they're both showing more of a turn towards the northwest, uh, just kind of running up the state. So not only are we talking about one turn, we're going to be talking about two turns. We've got a left and then a right that we're trying to forecast with this. So I think you get an idea of why these are so hard to forecast. And really, that main player is still the ridge of high pressure to the north. That's what's making that left-hand turn and drawing this towards the state. How strong that is, that's gonna make this turn sharper to the left. If it's weaker, it's gonna turn a little bit slower to the left, and that will end up making it for, go further on towards the north. So this is the European, remember? This is just one model, this is just one run, but just to start to give you an idea, if something like this were to verify, this is what we could be looking at across the state. Winds category four, category three, somewhere along the east coast, West Palm Beach, you can see by Monday night, that's when you're really starting to see those impacts across the eastern part of the state. For us here on the west coast, our winds are starting to pick up, but still we've got some time on Monday evening, and then this makes that turn more towards the north, running up the state, and uh, right through the middle of the state, we've got on that 
left hand side remember it's going to be more the tropical storm force and the stronger winds will be on that uh, right hand side of the center of the storm so obviously this will be changing we'll be fine-tuning this very fluid situation but just to give you an idea of what's going on of course we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com